Today in this video, we're just gonna do a lot of basic fit and a lot of easy stuff, and uh, that's what we do every day. day so we'll see you there. Just pulling into this job. We got a whole bunch of three inch uh, skid 160 flanges to weld on today, so that's gonna be awesome. Um, what else, Shitty? Uh, wear long sleeves. <laughs> yeah, it's cold, you guys. We're gonna do a whole thing on cold weather gear out here. And uh, Under Armour or like a base layer is a must. So anyways, all right guys, got to go. We'll see you in just a second. It's for an inlet header. So this right here is all three inch. This is a two inch. Uh, everything's sked 160. So we got 1500 pound flanges on the three inch. And this is your guys' parts list. So, so if you're not sure what it is, so this is like a size of pipe, three inch. Oh shit, sorry guys, I got, I'm focusing on this. So schedule 160, um, oop, hold on. Basically that's all you need to know, pipe, grade B, all right? So anyways, so we're getting ready to build this. We're gonna hurry and roll out some flanges. Um, and then we're leaving this one random. So this is gonna get one flange. And then that's it. We're gonna leave the OLED out of it because uh, we're gonna run a string line across it to across all 13 of them so that it looks straight and everything looks good. So let's start rolling some stuff out. We've already got this one built. This is a <laughs> this is your three inch 160 with an OLED in it. We need to roll out two flanges on it. That are those pieces over there. They weigh. Hey Josh. Hey Joshua. So, that's what we're doing. Let's build. Guys, clean up all your parts. Here we go. We're gonna weld the, the two flanges on the end of this really quick, and then, um, yeah, we're gonna go from there. So we need to two hold that flange. Okay guys, gotta two hold your stuff, but you gotta make sure everything's level this way too. So, I'm looking at it right here. The correct way to two hold, you can also get two hole pins. Yeah, you can get two hole pins. This is just as good. When you run stainless and stuff though, for anybody that don't know, stainless is not magnetic. So you have to run two hole pins or else you'll go freaking crazy trying to hold this on here. Just kind of a joke. So anyways, level good. Always level your flange. Don't, don't level the front of this, because this is what needs to be level. You're gonna have to take the gap, whatever it is. But these are all factory bevels. They should be, should be pretty close. Hey guys, did you ever talk to him about that? Uh, okay, we have an OLED on here. Let's see if we can get you zoomed in on this deal. Okay, we got an OLED. You got to level your OLED. You got to two hole your OLED to your two holes. So these are level, that OLED needs to be level. So then everything is fit up. Check 
Good to go. Let's do this. Now that we got it level this way with the flange, we got to roll it and level it this way now. All the whole bunch of leveling when you fit pipe. Looking good. Y'all need to invest in some wedges. Start this tack right here, and uh, or jettle, jettle hurry and grind our starts real quick. <laughs> Later on in this video, the phone actually winds up dying, but uh, I think you guys get kind of the basic idea on what's going on. You're gonna want to make sure your stuff stays square, so you're gonna want to check it with levels quite often, and uh, yeah, so make it you guys practice this stuff and make it happen because this is what's making you money this is if your stuff goes out and it don't fit it's because something went wrong with your levels your measurements or, or you just plain messed up which happens to everybody so anyways you guys hopefully this kind of helps you uh important 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 check your levels check your square all the time Make sure that your stuff's fitting good and that everything's measured right. We'll talk to you all in a little bit. Be sure of it when you're running this bigger scheduled pipe, the sucker's gonna want to move a lot. So, why we welded this side first all the way is because it was riding just a little bit up, so we had to pull that piece of pipe a little bit this way. So, if you run a whole side, make sure that you got just I mean, it's just out just a little because it's gonna want to grab it and start pulling it in. Gotta try to keep your stuff square as you can. Dad, will you stir those eggs? So somehow we lucked out. We got Bobby Flay here. He's cooking. What are you cooking, Bobby? What are you cooking, Bobby? <laughs> Dang, Bobby. <laughs> Snap. The ham. Half inch thick piece of ham. <laughs> Oh shit, Bobby, we got a flame. I don't know, man. I gotta get them off of there. 
We got some beans. Everybody, be blessed. Like, subscribe, comment. If any of you have questions, email me, schofieldwelding at gmail.com. I will get back to you or leave it in the comments. You guys share this with all your friends because it's the only way we can grow our channel and help more people like you guys out. Be blessed. Talk to you later.